It was a hero's welcome for Vernon resident Josh Dewick, one that he didn't really expect. How did they know? Like, I didn't tell anybody what time my fight came in. I'm just like kind of perplexed and just like in awe of how many great people were here and just like, wow. And then someone's like, just look behind it. <laughs> Got there a few hours before he arrived and uh, snuck in behind him. And I was like, no! My wife is supposed to be in Hawaii, so. And then she was home. It was best. Duick's other big surprise visitor was his five month old, Nova, who perhaps gave Josh that extra motivation in Sochi. Having Nova in my heart really gave me a bigger picture where I'm like, I sure do hope to ski well today, and I plan to ski well, and here's what I'm going to do to, to achieve that. But if I don't, it doesn't matter. You know, all I got to do is give everything and, you know, honor the people at home that are making all the sacrifices so it's possible for me to be here doing what I'm doing. And with that mindset, Wow, it turned out pretty great. Duick's journey to Sochi was nothing short of a physical and emotional roller coaster. In his years of training for the games, he experimented with new sit-ski equipment, leading to plenty of falls, frustration, and an overall loss of confidence. At one point, he even considered retirement. But determined and willing, and with the support of his friends and family, Duick found his rhythm and started to believe. Within a few months before Sochi, everything just started to line up. It was crazy how the timing just kind of everything was clicking, and then my objectives, you know, started to shift quickly. Uh, that experience paid off real well. Want to have a look? And now back at home. Duick is able to share his experience and inspire others. I've always hoped and dreamed that the work that I do would actually have a ripple effect throughout the community because the community's put so much into me that to see it come right back and, and hit the community and ripple through has just been phenomenal. And most like watching the kids, you know, they see that and they see that dreams do come true. You know, if you're willing to, you know, go out on a limb and, and do what you love to do that anything is possible. It just really puts a big smile on my face and to know that this community is here supporting us is what it's all about. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh. sweet. So what will you say? And for 11-year-old freestyle skier Sofia Chernetsky, Duick's homecoming was her big chance to meet and interview one of her idols. He has that type of, um, you know, devotion to skiing that no matter what shape or form he's in, he's just always going to be there and he has that mentality that nothing's going to take him away from it. So that's why he's doing what he did and that's why he got those medals because he deserves them. As for the future, Duick plans to do some writing and spend some much needed time with his family. And when asked about Korea 2018, the 33-year-old says, you never know. For Go Okanagan, I'm Kevin Chirac. Okay. <laughs> You're crazy.